jujitsu is very simple. He wants something. I don't want him to have it. So I don't let him have it. Pretty easy, right? He wants mount, I don't give him mount. He wants an arm bar, I don't give him an arm bar. Pretty simple, pretty clear cut, okay? So we'll start off, Terry goes first arm bars, couple things. Number one, he wants my arm straight. Number two, he wants his leg over my head. Okay, so I'm gonna catch my arm, and before the leg gets over my head, if I can, I'm gonna bring my arms over my head, okay? So as he throws his leg over the head, boom, I catch it, and I'm driving upward. Now, I try to slide out about to right here, where my weight is on his knee, okay? And the reason I make this my pivot point is because as he tries to remount, he's kind of, his leg's caught under me and it's gonna take him a little bit of time, okay? He can mount me if I just lay here, but it's gonna take him just a, just a split second, all right? So I have some weight on his leg, he's kind of trapped down there. Okay, so I'm like, I don't know jujitsu. Oh my God, he went for the armbar all of a sudden. Boom, I know jujitsu, so look. <laughs> I wave the arms over the head, and I want my head in the bend of that knee. Oop. And then as I'm coming over, a little trick here, guys, is I tuck my head to my shoulder, the one closest to him. Okay? That just makes it harder for him to get his uh, leg back over my head. Boom, right here. Now, you've got a couple options. The first one I like to do is just stand with base. I just do a little hip heist. Whoop. Hand at the hip. Boom. And I'm up. Okay, easy. Second one, almost the exact same, bing, I pop out. Now I shrimp outward, right? Here's my escape route, right between his ankles. I shrimp out, knee in the middle. Now we can start working into like leg locks or sweep, depending on if he tries to come up or what. Okay, if you don't know leg locks, just go to the guard. So he goes, look, catch. Boom, as it's coming over, if I can, okay? My head escapes at the bend of the knee and then goes to that shoulder nearest him, okay? The reason that happens, if I leave it here straight and he wants to throw his leg back over, boom, my head easily goes back where it came from, okay? So I escape it at the bend of the knee and then I go here when he goes to throw his leg over, he has to make a bigger clearance, okay? Not clearance. Clearance. Boom. One. Hip heights. Stand with base. Whatever you want to call it. Near leg drives under. And then this arm, guys, shoot it right at the hip for control. Okay? Get your knees to a good base. Oh, he's got me. Boom. This time we made it over the head, I do the same thing. I bridge up. I peel his leg off. Head to the shoulder. Right about here, I start my turn. Bottom side knee in the middle. Heel to hip, knee to heel, okay? So I'm trying to go here. It's like his leg wants to come through, bing, I knock it off. If it's already over, get my feet high, bridge and peel it off, head through, close to him. Wow. Bing, so look, I'm stuck, don't. Just let him have that, guys, or something totally different if I do. So he got the leg over. I bridge, I peel the head out to the side. Boom, right there. Okay, one more, a little faster. Oh, nice touch. Now he's... <laughs> Good. Guys, when I was like, Man, white, definitely all through white and like halfway through blue. My guard passing was atrocious. I, I just wasn't good at passing guard. But I passed everyone's guard. Because I'd let him put me in arm bars. <laughs> and I would just escape and I'd be past guard. All the time. And my coach is always like, one of these days, that's gonna backfire. He didn't talk like that, he's a Brazilian. But he was just like, dude, he's like, the higher you get up, the more those guys are gonna start catching you. He's like, you have to put emphasis on not getting caught in subs. And I was like, but every time somebody goes for a submission, I just escape it and then I get points. And it, it worked for a really long time. Like a really, really, really long time. Up to almost black belt, actually. <laughs> and then now I'm like, I can't let anybody get near anything ever. Okay. Don't be like me, just learn to get out of stuff. Learn to pass guard. 
He doesn't work. Terry's so strong. He's doing all kinds of stuff. So there's a there's a lot of things I can do from here. Okay. Go ahead and sit up. Uh, a lot of times, guys, I'll just I'll just work. Try to get my elbow to the floor. Big, 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 right here, and then we can escape that way. But when one arm comes out, the other arm's kind of still in for attacking. Okay, so although that was extremely common, I don't do that one from the bottom as often. Um, I can force him to his back and come up on top, but probably the most common one is the basic hitchhike escape. Okay, so maybe I, I tried this one, doesn't work. He's, he's got a good bite. So what I'm gonna do here is I wanna make sure my elbow goes nice and low, okay? So keep in mind, like, this is not a good grip. Like, I could literally have, go ahead and arm bar me. I could have my hands together and Terry can still arm bar me, okay? He can still get that arm straight. So elbow low, I want it to my chest. Now, I'm giving him a little bicep slicer here, but you know, my, my biceps are so massive that it just doesn't affect me at all. Um, <laughs> the opposite they're small you have to have biceps to get bicep slice so also if we're just looking at tournament jiu-jitsu this is technically illegal up to brown belt um, anyway i don't worry too much about it because i'm about to get out of here so elbow down i want to make sure his feet aren't trapping my elbow in there now what i'm going to do is i start walking my legs toward his feet toward his heels okay i want to pass under the leg that's on the belly so I'm gonna just puff my, puff my stomach and my ribs up a little bit. That just gives me a little extra space, all right? So I walk, I walk, I walk, and right about that time when my hips can clear his, his heel, I let my hand go this way. So we call it a hitchhike escape because I'm gonna go thumbs down. Now, I like to, instead of being like real rigid, I go much looser and I just kind of like turn all, all my fingers downward. Okay, so I kind of like the loop arm out of this. So, boom, does it work? I start walking and I let my arm tuck in this pocket. Now, uh, stay with me, Terry. Boom, I start, I start turning, turning, turning. I bring my head under his butt. And as soon as it comes out, guys, it glues to this hip here. Okay? Walk around, there's my guard pass. And then I make Terry kiss his own knee. Oh, I love you, knee. Okay, every time on everyone. Every. So we got to keep our head glued so I don't get triangled. Okay. So bink doesn't work. Walk the body out. Puff the chest. Hand in the hip. If I just open up, he's gonna he's gonna lock up that triangle. So when I come up, guys, my head is on the outside of that leg. So my hand goes down. I walk around and I unwind that hand. Okay? We can do this right off the bat. If this is your go-to, boom, right there. Oh, he kept his leg down. I can't get under the head. I'm out. Don't dive in and get triangle. Okay? He's setting me up. The biggest mistake I see, go ahead. As people get here and they're like, yep, cool, cool, cool. And they go like this and I'm like, all right, there. My hand's in the pocket, time to turn back in. <coughs> Don't let me out. And they turn back in and they can't figure out how to get an armbar. I have to I start one way. I just walk, 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 walk. Boom, it's the same way the whole time. Okay? All right, one more little detail. Please don't do this in class. I personally prefer just to go for this as soon as I sit, right? But sometimes, boom, we're here. Terry's so strong, I was kind of scared. So, I'm gonna hold this and get my elbow down. He starts pulling. He's pulling because he's so strong. And as I go, I'm gonna let that hand fly. <laughs> okay? I knew it. I knew so it. So he pulls my hand into his own face. He's pulling, pulling, pulling. And then I just let it go <laughs> as I come out. Okay? I've seen people get their nose busted. Just, <laughs> you just, you just let it like. Back fist. Like, yeah. All of a sudden, their face is like, Dang. and they lose. Yeah. Do you need points for that? Don't do it. Uh, it, it was like, Don't do it in class. Yeah. It wasn't an accident. That's what I said. He, he pulled my grip. hand into his own face. Yeah, I lost grip. Same, same grip, guys. 
trying to bring my elbow down. Okay, this is what's really important, especially for this one, that I get my elbow down. Okay, we talked a lot about that, uh, needing that elbow down. Number one, it makes it harder for him to pull my arm and straighten it. But also, like, I, I don't want him crossing his feet. Yeah, behind the elbow, kind of, it keeps me from being able to hitchhike, keeps me from being able to do all kinds of stuff. So anytime I feel him getting this, that elbow comes down, if I can wiggle his feet apart, if he's crossed them, I try to, yeah, I try to get under him, okay? So this one's one of the ones I, I tend to use more often. What I'm gonna do here is bring that elbow under, uh, just like his calf, his, his Achilles area, the leg that's on my stomach. Okay, so you can see I can kind of like just prop that up, like hammer down. It's really hard. Oh, you're so strong. Ugh. Okay, it's hard for him to like really press my elbow down. Um, and I'm just going to do this all one motion. Okay, so my elbow comes down, I loop it under, and now what happens here is I lift and I'm just going to bring this leg through and trap. Okay, so um, I've done it where I've just I've just gotten my knee in and we can do some stuff with the knee, but I prefer the whole leg. Okay, so go down, circle, trap here, and now there's a couple things that can happen. So usually I start by pressing down like such, and then we come all the way to our knees. Okay, once I'm to my knees, he no longer has this arm bar. So make sure you're controlling this leg by pinching your knees together. So I let go, I shoot for the hip, and now I just start my back step, and then we just pass from here, okay? So I like to stretch his leg a little bit. Okay, just grab that knee, step over it. Okay, so he goes, boom, elbow down, under the leg, and then just make it like one, uh, one quick motion. I'm just kind of doing like a reverse crunch here. So elbow down, boom, up, get to my knees. Attack the hip, and I sit facing that way. This leg here, guys, he's gonna try to like hold. He doesn't, you know, I don't wanna get caught in his half guard. So I'll keep this here for a little bit as opposed to just letting him lock me up. Keep him stretched, stretch this leg out. Almost like I'm gonna knee bar him. And then you can grab the pant leg if you need to. He don't necessarily need to. Let it go. And now I'll pass, okay? The other thing that happens sometimes is I don't get him turned to his back. Okay, so I go, boom, and I just, eh, he's maybe posting with his hand or whatever. So just stretch. That's the leg he wants to arm bar me against, okay? So I just stretch out, boom, and now this elbow, just drive it to the mat. Okay, now we usually just kind of get this little, kind of little wrestling match from here, right? Yeah, he's trying to come up, but he's not in a great spot. He comes up that way. I come out the back, okay? So you're gonna, you're gonna get in a little, just a little scramble at that point. Sometimes I, I scramble up directly to the top. Sometimes I come out the back like that. It's the same. Boom, but oh yeah, I don't rock him over. So just, just kind of turn and think about turning and facing him. And this hand, guys, just limp, elbow down, and I almost go to that same position, right? You start attacking the hip, I start coming up, coming up, coming up. If I can come up, great. If he pops over, come up the back, boom, now we're. When I'm caught and I'm, I feel like the guy's got a really solid base, solid arm bar, this is generally the one I go to, okay? It's really hard for him to stop me from getting that foot around there. Uh, guys, a few things could happen with this. Um, just as, as we were drilling it, like, boom, you go here. And something that happened a couple times was bottom person just just kind of let that arm out of there okay, if that arm comes out yeah i can just pass it to this side i don't have to force that front side pass okay so bottom if he lets go of my arm yeah just take your arm out um what we were doing was assuming that the guy was like just hugging the arm he's trying to keep the leg over the head he's trying to stay there okay which is what happens most of the time most guys will still try to just take that arm and they're like oh i can definitely get that and then they don't ever right boom so let's kind of look at this too. Um, so I'm here, uh, I get my elbow in, and this guy locks the legs down pretty hard here, okay? So yeah, he, he's got them crossed again. I, even, even lifting him, I can't really get up here and do this. 
It may, I mean, I could maybe worry about trying to get my arm out, but if he cranks this arm, if I, if I try to sit, he still kind of got his leg. I didn't separate his legs, okay? So he could totally get that arm bar. So what I'm gonna do is like start going under, bang, but he crosses his feet on top of that, okay? The cool thing about this is the reason we don't cross our feet without the elbows between them is because when I push, his legs move as one now, okay? So you can do this with just the elbow, or if you really need to, I would prefer to like grab my lapel if I have one and then take my hand out. But if not, you can try to do this really fast, okay? So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass his legs over my head, okay? And when I do it, I swing my legs toward his body, okay? So it just kind of looks like this. Boom. Yes, he can still fight for the arm bar, but as long as I keep this knee kind of pushed out, pull my hand out, I can get to a guard, I can start start moving, start attacking again, okay? If I was real slick, I can arm bar him, but. So down, but he crosses his feet. So look guys, if you wanna to try to like put him on his butt, then throw it and reach and try to dig for the arm, it's never gonna happen, but. Okay, you can think about it. You can think about it. If that helps you with your direction. Generally guys, I just, I get out of the arm bar, I get to a scramble, right? So bing, I go, yeah, he, he knows what's up. He crosses it. Look, swing the legs toward his back. Boom. Yeah, if I get up here, great. If I super surprise him, awesome. Okay. Yeah, he's got it. Oh, he's, he wants it. Oh, I can't, I can't get my leg in. Just, you don't have to like wind way up guys. I mean, if you need to maybe, but so my lower leg motion is this and then my elbow just drives that off. Okay, and I do them together, and limp leg out. So a lot of options here guys, depending on which way he goes, but sometimes I just get stuck. It's that real heavy. Yeah, this, okay. He's got his feet crossed, and I cannot get that elbow down. What I'm going to start doing is try to put him on his back. All right? So, right now, Levi's got both of his arms on my arm, okay? Which means he can't really base either side. So, I can just kind of pick a side. All right? So, the first time I'm going to put him on his right shoulder, I just take my arms, and I go this way. Boop. Okay? It's that easy. Every time, without without the, but don't just rely on your arms, okay? So I can bridge, I can dump him down, oh, and as I do it, guys, I have to hit price. It's that same motion. I've got to get a good wide base. Now, there's this little point here where I have to let this go, but I want to make sure I'm creating good uh, good weight. So I'm walking this up, and I want my hand to shoot behind his head, okay? So here's the little tricky detail here. Let me get my throat off the back of his, there we go. I'm like choking myself trying to talk. So look guys, don't do this. Don't do this, yeah. Levi Strong, I'm not, he's still gonna stretch that arm even if I'm holding his head, okay? When I put my arm all the way through and his head is in the uh, bend of my elbow, no, stretch. Like I'm, li I'm not holding, I'm not flexing at all. My hand is just resting here makes a huge difference, okay? So even if I kind of start here, uh, <laughs> if he does that, I want to pull my arm out. So try to get all the way, all the way under his neck, the bend of your elbow behind his neck, okay? Now, my weight, I'm making sure his knees are basically on each side of his head, and I'm just kind of sprawling one hip down a little bit so the hip uh, closest to his head in this case, sprawls. Okay, so he's dealing with this arm being bent, he's dealing with uh, my anchor here, and then he's dealing with my body weight. So I've got three things in my favor, just against his kind of little weak back. Okay, so I'm good. I'm not, uh, not in a lot of danger at this point. Now I gotta get my hand out of there, or my arm. So I'm gonna start, what are you doing? Don't let go. Don't we go. <laughs> I'm gonna start pulling this elbow out, but I'm doing a circular motion, okay? So I'm kind of turning this way. Cool, sometimes it's one, sometimes it's five. 
sometimes more. Soon as that arm comes out though, head stays tight to avoid the triangle. I like to put my hand right here on his hip and just push him through as I walk around. Ooh. Okay, and then we make him kiss his knee every time. Thank you. <laughs> so most of my arm guard defense is always just end in a cradle, okay? Oh, so he's got me. He's got those feet crossed, nothing's working for me. So, give him a little bridge, snap this down, come up, get under his head. Okay, I got my weight on him. I worked that elbow out. Pass to the side. Okay, yeah, thank you. So, up, down, big hip heist. Stack, stack, stack. Dig that arm behind the head. Okay, stretch. Arm bar me. Arm bar me. Okay, good. Boom. Hand on the hip and go. Okay, if I hang out and I pull this arm out, bah, he's got me, okay? My head stays tight, triangle me. Okay, head stays tight, move my body and push his hip. The other option is just putting him the other way, okay? If I go to dump him that way and he posts his arm, well, now he's got me with this arm. He's got a hold with this arm. So I dump him back, come up, everything's the same, okay? If I start, if I start that way, whoop, he post. Now I know he's holding me with this arm. Snap it down and go, whoop. Okay? If I'm blind and there's just one arm on me and I'm like, I don't know which arm it is. I can't tell, go this way. Did he post? <laughs> he posts, okay. So I know he's got me with the other arm. Ah, whoosh. Okay, make sense? I just need to get him on his side to stack him, either way. So look, a couple things with the legs. Number one, stay. In me getting from my back to my stomach, there's only three ways to, to go, okay? There's a step over, so my far leg steps over my near leg, okay? There's a step under, or hip heist. My near leg goes under my far leg, okay? And then there's a hip shift, where neither leg is really kind of on the ground and they just kind of switch, okay? So most of me getting from my back to my knees or my stomach is one of those or a combination of. Most of the time, it is the near leg going under the far leg, okay? Got his feet crossed, I can't get my elbow down. So if I dump in this way, whoop, boom, I start coming up, look, I can't step over and get closer to him, okay? So I have to bring that near side leg under the far side leg, okay? When I dump him this way, boom, there's a little bit of a step over, right? Boom, now I work my way up, okay? Uh, we had a little, uh, what I'm gonna call it, a little, little issue with getting up on that one a couple of times. So what I do, let's say I bump him, I bump him to my head side, to the north side, and I'm having a hard time, maybe I get to my knees but I can't press, look. Take my defensive hand, put it in a, like grab my biceps. I'm gonna shoot that through to the mat. Go ahead, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. So I shoot that through to the mat, so I still have a defense, and I use that hand to press me up, okay? Now I can go to here, I can grab up here at this point, or I can try to get back behind the head. If I grab here, it's not bad. It, I don't keep the same weight on him but I can still do the same move and this grip's okay. I always prefer behind the head if I can, but if I can get that pant leg there, it's fine. Oh, I'm defending, 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 oh no. Put him down, I start to get up, and I mess up and dig, he dumps me. Go, instantly. Okay? Instantly just go right back to the hitchhike, all right? So if 
you guys weren't here for the hitchhike. Hitchhiker. Levi wants my, just think, thumb up, elbow down in his right hip. Okay, so my right arm, his right hip. So I want the opposite of all that. I want thumb down, elbow up in his left hip. Okay, and then, so he dumps me, ah, uh, boom. I just start twisting and I start moving. I open up the legs here. I walk, 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 walk. Catch his hip, my head stays tight to the outside again. I'm just gonna use that to start my pass. Okay, so easy way to drill this, guys, if you're having trouble, if you're having trouble in class, and you're like, man, James taught that stupid hitchhiker again, I just don't get it. Do this at home on your living room floor. Thumb up. Put your thumb on the mat. Don't let it move. And then unwind it. Okay? That's your hitch. I can skate. Thumb on the mat. And unwind it. Oh, such a very sneaky arm bar setup. I didn't see it coming. Can't get my elbow. Ugh, nothing's working for me. So I'm going to dump him. Stack, stack, stack. Ugh. Ugh, but I lost my base. Oh no! Go, 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 go! Oof. We've been working from here. And then the last little bit we did was getting this guy rah, up and getting my stack. Stack, stack, stack. Okay? So what happens here sometimes, guys, is maybe before I was able to stack him, is he bellies out, he goes belly down with this. This is a real bad spot for me, okay? So, as he goes belly down, I'm like, I'm gonna hitchhike. And I start putting my, and then you, you're like, wait a minute, this, this doesn't work quite, quite the same. It's a different angle, okay? And the ground is kind of in my way for a lot of it. So, as I feel him, driving me down as, as I feel him bellying out. I can't stop it. Get this arm free if I can. And instantly I go thumb down on this, okay? So I think belly up, thumb up. Belly down, thumb down, okay? So, oh, he goes, he goes, he goes. I start really turning that thumb nice and, nice and hard. I've got to fight it. Smash his legs down. I really don't care how you do this, guys. I just kind of, I usually just kind of boom, smash, okay? Bring my head to this side, and then I'm gonna step over. So not flip, not roll, but I like sprawling, I step around, boom. If he doesn't follow, he stays facing me, boom, front cradle, okay? Or I can do the leg lace, drag him down, okay? Okay, Ugh. he goes, he's going belly down, belly down. I turn the thumb, I smash, head to this side, now, sometimes he follows, he tries to follow it, he goes the other way, cool. Backside cradle, okay? And then from here, guys, I've gotten here. This is a guard pass, okay? Bring my knee up, just drive it through. Ugh. Knee on belly. Maybe punch him, depending. So, also, guys, like, and we'll get, we'll get into this too, but, like, just think about, like, this doesn't have to originate from me being on my back. We're going here, sometimes guys just go. Oh crap, so I can stack. Oh, I don't get the stack. Boom, thumb down, pass. There's a little hip trick that we can throw in here where if I really want him uh, facing away, but he's not following, right? So he's kind of still here. He's looking that way. He's got a little better chance of getting this. So on the step over, I don't want to get my hips too high. I just kind of Okay, hit him. Hit him in the hips. Make him roll. Okay. And then, guys, just keep in mind, like, even from this cradle position, I need to be nice and tight and heavy. My head's up because I'm talking. But if I'm too loose, my head's up. He's going to throw that leg over. And then he's going to triangle me. Okay. So when I'm really doing this, guys, like, head down. You can put it on the knee. Put it on his head, whatever. But bury it down here. Just don't be hanging out. Cool. So, all right, real quick. So on this one, usually I'm gonna go to stack, 
Whoa, but he starts driving it down. So not thumb up this time. My belly's going down. So hand goes down. I clear the legs and then I'm walking around it, okay? So this is actually, it's kind of the same move as this one, where I start going and this hand comes out, so I'm literally going this way. Boom, and I'm walking, except when I'm on the ground, I'm able to pass behind his, or when I'm, excuse me, when I'm up, I'm able to pass behind his back. Whereas when I'm on my back, I can't do that, okay? I think oh, I missed everything. Come down, smash his feet, walk it around, and up they follow, you just follow late. Bah, okay? All right, so real quick guys, just because we had some like questions on, on the arm bar. So some of these can initiate from me being on my back, maybe you hit it from mount, and then I rolled up. Sometimes, I'm attacking him from guard. No, you're oh, I'm, I'm attacking you. So sometimes I'm I'm attacking these from guard. So the, the defense is the same for the top one. Well, kind of for me. So if I'm attacking a basic arm bar, I'm here. I can finish it. Hold on, let me have it. I can finish it right here. Straight up. Okay, this is where he would stack me, right? I can whoosh, dump him over. So now we're back to where we've been working from, but that's an easy time to go for that hitchhike. Or, boom, boom, I can take this whoa, and just belly out immediately. And then he would do what we're doing now, right? Let's belly out. He goes, oh my gosh, he fell over, but it's okay. He still got where he was going. Okay, so sometimes any of these scenarios initiate just from guard as opposed to like from mount, which is what we've been working. Cool. So if somebody hits you with an arm bar and they're on bottom, don't think like, oh my God. I didn't learn armbar escapes from guard. I only learned armbar escapes from mount. Same, 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 okay. We'll just add one little thing to this. Same exact escape, but sometimes guys, we get caught and, this way for me. Ugh. We get caught and man, it's just not quite working. I'm trying to go belly down and oh my, let's start my step over and my life kind of sucks, okay? Look, feet in the armpits. And then I'm literally just gonna press out. Okay, just like stretch. Not 100% foolproof by any means. Okay, if he catches your elbow just right and he's cranking on it, he might hurt himself a little bit, but he can still get it, okay? Gold medal, it's gold medal. Yeah, <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of, you see this often, okay, where guys will stand and like, just try to shake this off. It's not the best defense, but it can work. Cause I'm, my arm, it's the only way my arm can really go is straight out. Again, this is in response to like, oh crap, I went for my move and I didn't quite get it. Let's do this little last ditch effort, okay? So he's got it, oh, he goes belly down. The stuff's just not quite working. Maybe my arm's even still caught in here. I can't, can't pass the leg or can't pass his leg. Step, and then I'm literally I'm just in his armpits if I can, if nothing else, I just hug and I'm just gonna like push. <laughs> okay, not my favorite, but sometimes just get caught in a bad spot. You need to do something. This is something, okay? I've used this, it does work sometimes, <laughs> okay? <laughs> So, one more time. Throat chopping him, just chopping him, smacking him maybe. Ah, oh, yeah, so, yeah, and this will work guys. If I can't, I can't get the arm out, I can't go anywhere. I still try to get my thumb down. Uh, so the problem is, if I just go ahead and step over here, I'm in a bad spot, okay? So, nothing's happening. Boom, just clamp on him and literally just kind of like pull straight out. Good? That time I, I think he just let me go, but I was even kind of over his butt a little bit. Okay. Okay, let's just add that one in.